Hey everyone, it's me, Melody. Sorry for the awkward angle. I have a phone case collection to show from when I had my 5S, so I'm just gonna get started. So this, if you're ever at Sam's Club and you need a charger, buy this. This is a lifesaver, six feet. It's amazing. And that's my second one. I destroyed the first one. So I'm filming on my iPhone 6S. And I just got this phone case by iHome from Marshalls at $7.99. I needed a protective case, so this is this is what's on my iPhone 6S. And the cases I'm about to show are all five, yeah, five S. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone cases right now. So this is a uh, Gladiator's phone case from a hockey game I went to. And it's really dirty. It got dirty in the first week. And it was kind of hard to get on and off of my phone. But I guess it wasn't that bad. So there's the first phone case. And then I have this. Excuse the Christmas sticker. It's not that great. It was one of those external power case. And I thought I was getting a good deal for this. I paid like $5 for it at my kid's. One of their uh, fall festival school thingies. And then I have my Georgia phone case. That should explain a lot where I live. And this is the last phone case I got and I regret it. Because I did not know that I was getting the phone case I have now. So it says stop worrying, start praying. And just by Savannah Gray. Too bad this won't fit my six, but I cannot take this back. And then a few others is I got this one at I want to say Dollar yeah Dollar General. I used this twice. It's pretty good. Except there's no place to put cash. And that little jewel thing, I put that on there myself, so. And then this. I don't remember where I got this. But I thought it was cute at the time, and now it's like, ugh, I don't like it. Oops, sorry for the angle. But I don't remember where I got this from. The case should be... Nope. It's by Bytech. Yeah, that's who it's by. This is what this came in. And then I have one of my favorites. This is one of my first iPhone cases. Actually, no, it's not. But this was $5 from uh, Target iConcepts. I got it because it's elephants and I love elephants. And this one, it's cute, but yeah, a lot of my phone cases are like, were like that and I just didn't like them. So I barely used those. And then I have a Kath Kidson 
phone case. Oops. I got this off of some website. I didn't know it was Kath Kitson. It had a cross that had, it was a studded cross on it. And I took that off because it was falling apart. But this was actually one of my favorites because it's kind of, it's made out of this material to where you put it down and it doesn't really slip. So. Oh, Kath Kidson, you can't find in the States. You had to find it, I found out, in a, in the UK. So this is the first case that I have. And this is like an older version of it before they did one of my, this one. But the only thing I didn't like about that is how big the hole is for it, but it's not bad. And this is the case. It came in. Right there is where you can get get this brand and you notice the US is not on there. And then I got this at Big Lots. I thought it was pretty, but it kind of clashed with my gold iPhone 5S because it's silver and I should have bought this silver one, which I kind of regret not doing. But this was pretty cheap. Like I want to say five bucks, but it's a whole lot cheaper than Than what it is you can tell by right there how cheap it is and then this is not a case this is a speaker that I have it's okay I bought it the same time I bought the charging case and then I have my my first case ever, well, actually no, this is my third case I'd bought before, before I switched from my crappy Android to the iPhone. And this is the life proof case. I hated this thing. The little home button section right there on it fell off. And then different little bits and pieces of it started coming off of it. So I didn't even, yeah. I should have looked up reviews for this before I bought it. Which I kind of regret doing. Then I have my Vera Bradley. Oops, this was how much were you? Marshalls, five ninety nine, and I was so stoked when I got this because it's really nice quality. Because I read the reviews on the Vera Bradley phone cases of being really good, and they are. I dropped this sucker so many times and there's like a tiny bit of scratches right there not sure if you can see that but yeah it's just if they had this for the six I would have stuck that sucker on my phone in a heartbeat but they don't so oh well and then one of my other favorite phone cases that I got is by, oh my gosh, Dabney Lee. And I got this at Ross for $7.99. Elephants. Yeah, this started coming off, so I quit using it. Well, I thought it was adorable. A lot of my old phone cases, if they made it for the six, I would have them. This was $7.99 from Ross. Not sure if I said that. And then this is off of eBay. I got this a long time ago when I still had my Android and had already known that I was planning on upgrading to a iPhone 5S. So 
This is really Kuma. I don't think this is the legit one. But the ear finally started to uh, tear off right there. But it wasn't, it's not that great quality and it wasn't that cute. And then I got this. I'm trying to think of where I got this. It's not real. It's not a real Louis Vuitton because it's off centered and it's crappy material and just fake. But yeah. I don't remember where I got this. I got it online somewhere for cheap. For points. And then I got this at, I want to say I got this at Cracker Barrel when I was on vacation. And I don't like it. And I'm kind of happy I barely ever used this, but it's a sock monkey face. And then I got this at Goodwill. It's the Life Works. Yeah, I think everybody knows what this is for exercising. And then, what else? I was given this, but I never used it. It's an owl phone case. What else? I'm missing. This is what's currently on my phone. This is $7.99 from Marshalls. iHome. I think I already showed this. Oh well. And then my last phone case, which is my favorite, and I scored on this sucker, is my coach phone case from TJ Maxx $12.99. I had been eyeing this sucker once it came out. Which is kind of sad, but I'm kind of glad I waited. And this is what it looks like. Too bad this doesn't come for the 6 or 6S because this would be on my phone right now. But, but yeah, I just, once I got this, this was all that was on my phone. And if you notice, I have a color theme with the colors on my phone cases. Or Georgia, because I live in Georgia, so that should just tell you something right there. So, thanks for watching. Bye.